Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we are doing a whip and chat. So get out whatever it is you're working on. Feed it, cross stitch, cross stitch, diamond painting, adult coloring, and work along with me. As you can see, we are working on White Tiger. Now I haven't started this yet. I was supposed to start it Sunday. Today is Monday. I know, I know. But I needed that 24 hour break since I had just finished Symbols of Heroism. Um took me a little longer than expected just because I kept doing everything else except for working on the canvas. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, so yes, I am currently kidding it up as we go. So if you see me like have to stop or something, that's because I'm literally kidding it up as we go. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. Mine's was eventful. Um, so I'm getting sick also. This is a 51 by 51 partial from Diamond Art Club. So this part isn't sticky, but the tiger is sticky. So a lot of people are working on this with me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post pictures up in the group, or I will even share them on my Instagram if you tag me in them. Um, I'll share them in my Instagram story if that's something that you would like if you're working on this with me. So yeah, I just figured it'd be something fun. I'm not going to do like a whole big video segment on it. Um, just because I still have the sassy craft along going along nicely. I think we have four more weeks of that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the parade. I love seeing what everybody's working on. It's so fun. Um, also, I am still battling a cold. So if you notice a jump or a skip or a what have you in the, the video, that's because I keep stopping it to blow my nose. So I'm not sniffing for an hour and a half or, you know, what have you. I'm not sure how long this video is going to last because I'm not sure how long my voice is going to hold out. I literally have been talking all morning, so I'm not sure. But we'll see. We'll see. You ever have that cold? Like, and I think we all do this. When you get sick and your nose gets stuffed up. You start thinking of those fond memories of when your nose wasn't stuffed up and how you'll never take for granted again, being able to breathe out of both nostrils. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I will never take for granted the fact that I could breathe before this cold hit. And now, like, does anybody else get that cold that it, it's fine throughout the day? As long as you're moving, you're fine. The moment you stop moving, you feel like a dry dog turd on the sidewalk on a sunny day. You feel like that hot garbage that sits next to the trash can at the dumpsters um, on the hot summer day that's sweating. That's what you feel like. I feel like a, a discarded cheeseburger sitting beside a hot dumpster on the hottest day of summer. Like, that's how I feel. I ran a fever on Saturday, but that didn't stop me from having to put on pants. You guys... This putting on pants everything on every Saturday is, is for the birds. I can't with this putting on pants thing. It's getting on my last nerve. So Mr. Coffee had the bright idea. We were supposed to go see the realtor. Now we did go look at two houses. I didn't like either one of them. If I'm buying a house, it has to meet specific um, preferences that I have. And one of them is going to be at least having four to five bedrooms. Because if Minna doesn't come stay, I want her to still have a place to stay when she comes to visit. So it has to have at least four to five bedrooms. It has to have a nice size backyard because I want to get my kids a trampoline. When we lived in Pennsylvania, we had a trampoline. So I want to make sure they have a trampoline. And it's just, I there are certain little things about, you know, buying a house that I would make sure that this new place would have to have. The two places they showed us, I wasn't very impressed. And they were like a little bit out of our budget. So I was just like, you know, we'll, we'll try next weekend because we don't have a lot of time this weekend. We had plenty of time. I just didn't feel like standing outside run, um, driving from house to house to house to house all over town looking at houses. I wasn't filling up to it. I don't feel good. Well, as we were leaving, Mr. Coffee's like, hey, can we go look at work boots? I'm like, work boots? I guess we can go look at work boots. So we go over to this place called Boot Mar. You guys, good God. This was like, if Texas was in North Dakota, that's what this place reminded me of. They had a Stetson, like a hat, like a cowboy hat. That was a hard hat. I was like, what the hell? They had all kinds of boots. And Orion looks at me and he goes, mommy, um, what is this place? I'm like, I, I don't know, honey. Just stay close to mommy. 
I'm not a big cowboy boot person. I don't wear cowboy boots, obviously. I'm not a cowgirl. I'm not a cowboy. I I don't do anything with cows or farm animals. Um, even though sometimes I think Daisy is a farm animal because when she goes to lay down, she moves. Does anybody else dog groan a lot? Like, Daisy always groans like she's just tired of life in general. She's... And sometimes it sounds like she's mooing. So, yeah. I'm not a cowboy, not a cowgirl. Don't deal with farm animals. And... So we're walking to this store and he's looking for work boots. Now, work boots are like the thing I dread buying for Mr. Coffee the most. I don't go cheap whenever it goes to buying him stuff for work because going cheap could be the matter of life and death. So no, we, we don't go cheap. Usually his boots are about two to $300 for work. They last about a year. Yeah. So we wait until tax time and get them. And yes, this job will reimburse him for the uh, $150 worth of boot. But if I got him the $150 for the boot, um, they would last him probably four months and he would need another pair and they only reimburse him for one pair of boots a year. So I'm like, let's make it worth it. So he gets this brand called Ariat. I don't know. He likes it. He gets the pants, the, the shirts, the, it's all super hella expensive. So I'm like, oh, good God. And I just recently paid back his friend for the VR headset because he, his friend bought it for him and I told his friend that, you know, we'll pay you back the money when we get taxes. So we paid his friend back the money and I'm like, look, we ain't spending all of our tax money on you. So you, you don't go super expensive because the last pair of boots he got, he wanted this 400 pair, $400 pair of boots. And I'm like, you don't got $400 feet. I'm sorry. That's not happening. I don't care what names on them. It, it could say shoes were made by the angels in heaven and Jesus himself sewed on the soul and I would not purchase freaking $400 boots that he's just going to get dirty with mud and oil that's not a thing I'm like you have to remember you're not one of those guys you're one of the guys that has a family to support and I'm not supporting you where I don't want to go cheap I also am not doing $400 for boots that's insane you guys like insane so I was like yeah no that's not happening I'm like you got a budget you can't go over $300 I'm like, and that's with taxes included because whatever's over $150, his job does not reimburse him for. We pay for that out of pocket. And I'm like, I, and it takes, it still takes him like a month to get the money to you. So I'm like, I'm not about to sit here and spend all this money on you when I still need to get stuff for the kids because our tax return came in. So we're tax rich for, you know, the next week. And I remember when taxes used to come in before, as just as quickly as they came in, we were broke. Why? Because we would have so many bills that were behind that we would have to play catch up with tax time. That, and it was always convenient because Orion's birthday always fell like right before or right after tax time. So he would always get like two birthdays. So yeah. Um, but we're in this boot barn place. We're in there and he's looking around at boots and he sees some Cody Jane boots he likes that say nipple up, which is a, th it's a term in the oil field called nipple up. I don't know exactly what it is, but they have nipple up. And like the first time Mr. Coffee ever came up to me and was like, yeah, I'm having to go out to this location and nipple up and I got to grease some assholes before I get out there. You guys, oil field terms are not everyday terms. These are not the terms that you would normally hear from your spouse. So when he said that to me, I'm like, um, I'm sorry, did you find a lot lizard or a rig rat? Uh, those are prostitutes for the oil field guys. And I'm like, uh, what do you mean grease and assholes and everything? He's like explaining this process to me of greasing assholes and nippling up. But the boots that he was looking at said nipple up. And I'm like, oh, sweet heavens. Please tell me you're not going to be walking around with boots that say nipple up. He's like, if they have my size. Now, Mr. Coffee wears a size 13 boot, Okay. Depending on the shoe, actually, because some there, there was one year we got him a 12 and it fit perfectly. And then the following year, he got a 13. I, I Last year, I introduced Mr. Coffee to what a wide was in shoes, because apparently he had no clue. Because up until last year, he bought his boots on his own before we moved up here. So he, I've never taken him boot shopping before until now. And then I was like, yeah, we're going to teach you some things. Uh, this is called a wide shoe. Mr. Coffee has wide feet. He wears a size 13. Of course he has wide feet. But he's been scrunching his foot into a normal size. And I was like, oh my gosh, this has to be more comfortable for you. And he's like, oh, I never knew. And all I could hear in my head, a whole new world. 
I'm like, I just, I just Aladdin you just now. You see that? And he's like, here we go. And of course I start singing in the store and he's like, please stop. And the kids are like, mommy, please stop. And I'm like, okay, okay. So anyways, we're sitting there and he's looking at all these boots and Orion and Maggie are giggling at all the cowgirl boots and all this. And Maggie's like, look, mommy, these are pretty. I'm like, they are pretty. She goes, I'm just not cowgirl material, mommy. And I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, I like farm aminals. I'm like, you like farm aminals? And she's like, yeah. I don't want to clean up after farm aminals, though. I'm like, okay. And she goes, but if I get these boots, I have to clean up after farm aminals. And I don't want to do that. And I'm like, um, you don't have to clean up after farm aminals, baby. Like, if you, if you get cowgirl boots, you don't have to clean up. That's not like a requirement. And she goes, well, why else would you get them? Some, I'm like, some people get them because they look pretty. And she's like, sure, mom. And she just walks away and I'm like, okay, that's odd. Oh, and for those folks that are wondering this, yeah, one, this whipping chat's going to be all over the place too. Uh, Maggie is doing just fine. Uh, we took her to the doctor or I took her to the doctor uh, while Mr. Coffee was at work last week, Thursday. Uh, she has a double ear infection. She is on medication for it. I am aware that if it continues to get worse, that she will have to have tubes put in. Um, I'm not too worried about that right now, just because just in the couple of days that she's been on the medication, uh, it, it, this medication worked better than the last time. And I think it's because they're giving her a bigger dosage for a longer period of time. So, so far, so good. But she's doing just fine. She's still her same spunky self. She hasn't complained about her ears hurting anymore or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so she's doing okay. Orion is like tormenting her because he keeps whispering stuff at her. And he's like, your ears are gross on the inside. Can you hear me? And I'm like, Orion, that's not very nice. And he's like, well, how do you get ear infection, mom? I'm like, let me pull out the medical book. So I pull out the medical book and I'm like, I don't see nothing about ear infections in here. So we had to call Paul Paul. Um... So yeah, so we're sitting at the boot barn. He's looking at boots. He's looking at boots. He picks up a pair of boots. He he goes to try them on. And all the boots here, all the boots are cowboy form. So like they're all in that cowboy-esque style. And I'm like, dude, you're not going to like any of these boots. And he's like, you don't think so? I'm like, um, hun, not only are they cowboy style, one, two, um, they're not, Mr. Coffee likes his boots to have square toes instead of a round toe. He says it's just more comfortable for his foot. And if you've seen cowboy boots, they all go to a point. And I'm like, you're not going to like these. And he's like, what's wrong? You seem really jittery or something. I wasn't jittery. I just didn't feel good. And he's like, is, is, just, is, is it just the store because it's not your cup of tea? And I'm like, I give a crap about cowboy boots. I want to sit down. I don't feel good. You got me in real pants out here in the streets. Like, I'm... I'm trying to be in my sweatpants on the couch. Like, what is you doing with my life right now? Like, I don't like this. So I'm sitting here and uh, he he's trying on boots and he doesn't like this pair of boots. Y'all, Mr. Coffee is a female when it comes to, to shopping. I'm just going to tell you that right now. He's He's the one that we're waiting a year and a day on. Because, good God, God forbid this man finds something he likes, try it on, goes, okay, I like these, and then just purchase it. No, he has to try it on every boot in the freaking store before he goes, oh, no, I don't like it. Y'all, we were in that store for almost two hours looking at boots, okay? Two hours. He didn't even buy any boots. We had to then go to a second store. You guys, yeah, you know I was losing my mind. I was just like, Sonya mother chicken which i also found out where mother chicken came from um that came from pawpaw apparently pawpaw has been saying this for the longest time and i just now caught on the other day that he says it and i was like hold up did i get that from you no wonder because he's always saying it and i never really picked up on it so yeah so that i thought that was kind of funny throat's getting scratchy cheers so yeah so we then go to the second store, which is the store we should have went to in the first place, which is where we usually get his boots, which is called Home of Economy. Now, Home of Economy, like I said, is where we usually get his boots from. He always has something they like. They have a bigger selection of just regular work boots, not cowboy boots, but regular work boots. And 
They also have lots of places to sit because Miss Coffee was tired, y'all. She was so tired. <laughs> so we get in there and we go down to the level where the boots are. And he starts looking at the boots and he's like, oh, I really like these. I'm like, you should. They're the same ones that are on your feet. He looks down. He's like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, all right, guys. So I gave the kids my phone because I'm like, how do you keep a kid quiet in the store? You let the electronics babysit them, folks. Let the electronics babysit them. Um, so I sat next to the kids on the chair next to them. They were both playing with the phone. Mr. Coffee's then going through the store and he's like, will you help me? And I'm like, dude, how am I going to help you find shoes? So I was like, fine. I think at this point he just didn't want me to sit down. Because he just kept asking for help. And it was like, could you find this? And I'm like, I don't work here. Like, this is not my job. Like, I'm not sure. Okay, fine. So I started helping him try to find stuff. And he's like, nope, these won't fit. After the fifth boot, y'all, I was ready to choke Mr. Coffee. I love him to death. I really do. Really do. I was getting ready to choke Mr. Coffee. I swear, we were in that store for a good hour and 45 minutes. But luckily, he did find a pair of boots. Not only did he find boots, I went over because I don't have snow boots, okay? I have a pair of his old work boots that fit me. I'm not even sure how they fit him because even on me, they're not small, but they fit me just right. And he has a size 13 foot and I have a size 11 foot in females, which is, I think, like a 8 or a 9 in males. And the boots themselves were a size 12. So I was like, I'm not even sure how these fit you. And he's like, I scrunched my feet into them for the longest time. It's back when we, he first moved up here. Uh, one of the guys that worked here gave him a pair of boots so that he could work. And he had to scrunch his foot in them for a few months until we were able to get him his own pair of boots. So I was like, oh, okay. So that's, you know, that, that explains a lot. Poor guy. Either way. Um, Y'all, these whiskers though. But... Yeah, so he's looking around, he's looking around. I went and sat down, and I happened to notice a clearance sign. Now, I think this is like women's tunnel vision, because you see a sell sign or a clearance sign, and you're like, you're like Sariba Henry whenever somebody says sell on Facebook or on YouTube. Did somebody say sell? She just popped out of nowhere. Somebody say sell. So I'm like, yeah, like, okay, I see a sell sign. Let me go check out what this sell is. And I saw boots. I was like, okay. And then I remembered when I went to go pick Orion up from school on Friday, what is it with little boys in holes in everything? Everything. Now, when I sent my son to school that morning, his, his boots were fine, okay? When I picked my son up from school that day on Friday, his boots, the top part of it where you push your foot up to, you know, you know how your mom does. Let me see your toe. Is your toe at the top of this shoe? That part of the shoe was coming apart. And I was like, what do you do in school for a child that likes math and reading? Why are your shoes so beat up? Like, what are you doing? How hard are you playing at recess? Like, come on. How do you tear up a whole shoe? And y'all, I'm not talking about like just a little bit, like just like a little piece came out. No, 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 no. Like the whole thing, y'all, the whole thing and I'm like what in Z world have you been doing with your life at school like seriously and he's like I don't know of course you don't know why would you know I don't know is like a kid's go-to for everything I I can't I can't with it I can't so I was like okay so I go over and I see there's boots on sale all right cool well the boots I wanted last year that I never ended up getting were $129. Now, I'm not spending $129 on myself, one. Two, I'm not spending $129 on myself for boots. And three, um, yeah, no, not spending $129 on boots. Not doing it. That's not a thing. I'm one of those moms that, you know, I'd buy for the kids before I buy for myself. So I was like, yeah, no, that's not, a, that's not happening. So I went ahead and looked at the boots because I saw that they were on sale. Y'all, they were on sale for, what was it, 70 bucks? I was like, sold. Why am I even procrastinating? I know I'm about to get them. So I got them. 
and go figure because we're having like spring-like weather right now. If you didn't know, daylight savings time, I'm not sure if that's just for the U.S. or if that's international or how that works, but daylight savings time is March 8th, which is in about a week. It's next Sunday, the Sunday coming up next. And I'm like, daylight savings time is coming, which means spring is almost here if it's not already here. And we're getting 40 to 50 degree weather every day this week. And I'm like, unless there's a horrible freaking storm coming, yeah, I think we're done with winter. But that's okay because I will buy the boots big for the kids so that they can fit them next year. Does anybody else do that with their kids? They buy the stuff really big so that by the time next year comes, uh, they can fit it. Now, I've only been burned on that once where I bought something for the kids and then by the following year, it was too big or too small for them. And I was like, crap. But usually I can buy stuff for them and uh, buy it in advance. And then like the next following year, they can still use it because it like just fits them perfectly. So that's what I went for because I was like, oh, well, Orion needs boots, even though my parents got him a set of boots that he for some reason wasn't wearing. He had never worn them. So I was like, why don't you wear the boots that Papa and Nana got you? I don't know. Again, there's that I don't know guy again. All right. So if you didn't know, like I said, I am kidding up as I go. So here we go. So we got 413, which is the down arrow. We got plenty of down arrows, so we'll do 413. Uh-oh. Maybe we'll do 939 since I just broke that open. 939, which is over. Yep, we got some of those. We're just gonna, yeah. So we're in, we're we're in home of economy. He's looking at boots, and I'm looking at Clarence boots. Sorry about that. Got a phone call. Mr. Coffee checking in to make sure I'm still okay. Um, just because I've really been feeling really yucky. And the other day, he was like, "You should really, really go to the doctor." I'm like, "I'm going. I'm going." Got started. So I, I yeah, I'm going this week. Um, anyways. So we're sitting in the store and I'm looking at clearance section and I see the boots I wanted on sale and I was like, uh, yes. So I got me a pair of boots. Now, take it. Miss Coffee is very picky with everything in life. Everything. So I had to try them on. I had to try on another pair that I liked that were, because they're white. And I'm like, I don't know how I feel about having white boots. I have a Maggie. I don't know how I feel about having white boots. And so I saw a pair of black boots, but they were still $100 down from like 200 to my dollars. I'm like, that's still a good deal, but I'm not about spending all that money on myself. No, like I can't even remember the last time I bought clothes. So like, yeah, no, usually if I buy something, it's for the kids that and Orion gets super jealous. He's like, why do you always get packages? But I never get packages. And I'm like, you're nine. That's why you never get packages. Who is sending you packages? I'm like, Papa and Nana will send you packages. Every once in a while, um, they'll just get stuff from random subscribers. And I'm like, look, you got a package. But for the most part, like, they get packages and it's like clothes and stuff. So he's like, why don't I get packages? Like, you get packages. I'm like, I get packages for my channel. Like, it's not like I'm just randomly getting packages. So he's like, oh, okay. Anyways. So I'm sitting there and I found the boots for myself and I tried on like three different pairs of boots and I, I realized that the white ones are the best fit for me. So I was like, all right, I got myself a pair of boots. I don't care how much they cost. I'm getting them for myself, whatever. We tax rich. When you tax rich, you buy all the things that are not necessary, but you feel like you need them and don't know how you went your lifetime and didn't have it. So I was like, okay, I'm getting these boots. Well, then right next to them were little kid boots. And I was like, well, Maggie and Orion didn't get new boots this year because they had boots from last year that still fit. So why would I buy new boots when their old boots still fit fine? I'm not one of those parents. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to buy them boots if they got good boots. Well, now that Orion's boots are talking to him, um, he's, al he's already named the boot Sam. And I'm like, who's, because he, he was talking to somebody in the car on our way home. And I'm like, who are you talking to, dude? And he's like, Sam. Dude, who the hell is Sam? My boot. I'm sorry, say what? Maggie goes, it's his boot, mom. He likes to talk to his boot, y'all. So you know I went looking for my baby some new boots. So I was like, all right, we got to get rid of Sam because I don't like the fact that Sam's talking to you. And he's like, well, mom, it would be rude of him not to talk to me. I'm talking to him. <sighs> you guys, I sometimes I, I wonder where I went wrong with my kids. Um, So I was like, all right, well, you tell Sam he about to get replaced. 
And he goes, well, that's not very nice, mom. I want it to be a surprise and then I'll say goodbye to him as I throw him in the dumpster. And I'm like, exactly, then there you go. He goes, but would it really be nice to throw your friend in the dumpster? I'm like, he's not a friend, he's your boot with a hole in it. And he's like, but he's become my friend over the last few hours, mom. And I'm like, get, get out of the car. He's like, we're still driving. That's fine, just, just get out. <laughs> Maggie says, tuck, and she starts pushing on Orion. She's like, tuck and roll, Orion, tuck and roll. And I'm like, oh God, please don't push your brother out of the car, Maggie. She's like, aw, I thought we were getting rid of Orion. I'm like, you love Orion. She goes, I know, but I still wanna get rid of him. Again, I don't know where I went wrong, you guys. I, I don't know. So we're sitting there. And of course, we have Paw Paw Bear with us. So the guy comes over to help Mr. Coffee because he's still sitting there with the same three boots trying them on and put, taking them off and everything else. Maggie hides on, like around the corner on a, where another rack of boots were and she starts playing Paw Paw Bear, scared the crap out of the guy in the store. She thought it was hilarious. I was like, Maggie, sit down. Stop scaring people with that dang bear. So, oh, I wish I had to tell you guys about that too. So I'm sitting there and I was like, okay, so I looked at the little kid boots. They didn't have really anything in Orion's size or larger that he liked. So I was like, well, what's going to happen is he has a pair of Timberland boots that he got from my parents. And I was like, you can wear those because I don't see any snow in the forecast. You can wear those. And if we come across boots that I think you will like, I'll buy you boots. But for right now, like, I don't want to go buy him boots for there to be like a week's worth of winter. Like, and then next year, he won't be able to fit them. And Orion, he's growing at a healthy rate. Um, so, like, I don't want to sit there and make this big purchase on boots, spend $70, $80 on boots for him for next year to, to go to use them, and then they don't fit. Because we've done this twice with Orion now and end up getting burnt both times because he grew so much that it just didn't fit. And I'm like, y'all keep growing at the rate y'all growing. Y'all gonna be taller than Nana here soon. Nana's only five foot tall. Either way. So let's let's talk about Maggie and Paw Paw Bear real quick before we get back to the boot story. So Friday, I pick I go to pick up the kids from school. Normal normal day. I'm standing there waiting for them to come out. Ryan comes out first. He comes over, gives me a hug. You know, I, hey, dude, how was school? And he's like, fine. I then see Maggie come out and she has her face buried in her Paw Paw Bear because Friday was take your bear to school day. I was like, oh, well, she's hugging and loving on her pawpaw bear, whatever. Didn't think anything of it until she got closer to me. And I saw that there was tears in her eyes. And I was like, honey, what's wrong? And she just looks at me. She goes, nothing. I'm just tired. Can we go home? And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, sure. Come, come on. So I go get them in the car. And Orion's like, Maggie, are you okay? And she goes, I'm fine. I just want to go home. I'm really tired. I just want to go home. Now, this is unlike Maggie. One, because she's admitting that she's tired. And two, Maggie never comes home from school crying. So I'm like trying to get her to tell me what's wrong. And I'm like, Maggie, honey, what's wrong? Mommy, is Paw Paw Bear creepy? And I'm like, I'm sorry, say what? She's like, is Paw Paw Bear creepy? And he goes, oh, the kids at school were making fun of her because Paw Paw Bear, they think Paw Paw Bear is creepy because uh, he talks and they're not used to seeing bears talk. Bears aren't supposed to talk. And I was like, okay. And Orion's like, before you even ask, I told them to leave her alone. And they did. And I was like, well, thank you, Orion. Thank you for standing up for your sister. He goes, no problem. Me and Sam took care of it. And that's the whole Sam conversation. Um, so I'm like, okay. All right. Maggie, Paw Paw Bear is not creepy, honey. Paw Paw Bear has Paw Paw's voice on it so that when you miss him, you can hug him. And she goes, I know, but people think he's scary or he's weird. And I'm like, he's not weird, honey. They just don't understand why you have a bear that sounds like your, your grandfather. Who's my grandfather? And I'm like, I'm sorry, Paw Paw. And she's like, but how do they not like Paw Paw? I'm like, it's not that they don't like Paw Paw. It's just that to them, that's you know, it's weird that he has Paw Paw's voice. That's not something you see every day. She goes, it's something I hear every day. I'm like, yeah, because it's your bear. It's not their bear. They don't hear it every day. They just see you with it once in a while. But she was all upset because they, the little kids at school were picking on her because of the bear. And so, like, I made sure to, to send a note to the school, the teacher to let her know that Maggie was really upset on Friday when she came home because the kids were making fun of her Paw Paw bear. 
And so the teacher was like, um, okay, I will have a talk with her whenever, you know, she gets in today. And so I was like, all right, cool. So hopefully she had a talk with her teacher. Don't mind Daisy over there. She's, you know, having her last drink ever, apparently. So, yeah, so there was that. Let me, there we go. I'm just going to push you up. So there was that. Um, but other than that, it was a pretty good Saturday. Oh, we're getting back to the, the, the shoe place. So I found boots for Maggie. And I got them a size bigger. And, and Mr. Coffee's just sitting there. He's like, are you sure you want to buy boots for her if you don't want to buy boots for Orion? I'm like, yeah, because Orion actually eats food. Maggie eats food particles or air particles, as we like to say. That's that's what Maggie's food is. Like, you ever seen that SpongeBob where SpongeBob had the chip and the penny and they were his friends and he was... Uh, he was eating the air particles. That's Maggie because Maggie refuses to eat anything. And so I was like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get her boots because I know she's not going to grow much. She hasn't grown much since last year. The sad part is they need to make a store for oblong kid parts because Maggie's waist is a size four, but her legs are a size eight and she hates belts. So I'm like, um... And I've tried everything. I've tried, I've tried crochet belts. I've tried regular belts. I've tried sparkly belts. I've tried unicorn belts. Maggie hates belts. So I try to get her pants with the adjustable waist because I know then, then she'll actually wear them and she won't fuss because they're adjustable waist. So she, uh, She got her boots, which kind of look like the ones that she already has, but she likes pink and black. So I was like, we're going pink and black. Again, Orion, we couldn't find anything in his size. Now take it. You know, if you buy kids shoes, it takes a while because you got to try it on their foot and you got to try different colors and all this. Y'all, why was Mr. Coffee still not done? He was still sitting there with the same three boots, put taking them off and putting them back on. I was like, if you don't hurry your little prissy behind up and hurry up so we can get up out of here, we got to go get dinner. He's like, oh, well, didn't you mention about getting a haircut? And I was like, I do want a haircut. So I would like to do that too. Well, you guys, as I'm sitting there, I go, yeah, that's right. I need to get a haircut. Now, I live in Willis, North Dakota, which is very diverse in the people that they have here, not in the stuff that they have here. So I have to contact different hair salons and go, hey, can you do ethnic hair? Because there is a difference between my haircuts and, and other people's haircuts. Like, uh, if you cut my hair while it's dry, you essentially will mess it up. So, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, I need to find a hair salon. I go over to Walmart because they've cut my... There's a lady in there that cut my hair before, but she wasn't in there. And I was like, well... She's like, well, you can make an appointment for tomorrow because today we're not taking any more appointments. And I was like, well, it sucks to be you, chick, because you yeah, know. Um... So, which, by the way, I got to call them back to set up another appointment. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm like, I'm having to call around and Walmart isn't taking any more appointments. So, I'm looking around. There's a lot of men hair salons here, but female salons, um, unless, not to sound racist, but unless you're white or have that texture of hair, there's no salons here for us. So I have to call around to see if anybody just has any kind of knowledge on how to just do a, sh like a, I usually get a pixie cut because I like to keep my hair short because, you know, I have a Maggie and I, it keeps me from ripping the rest of it out. Um, so I have to call around to see if there's anybody that knows how to do ethnic hair. And usually they don't. Usually they have no clue what I'm talking about. And I'm like, awesome. So that's one of the reasons why I've been just letting my hair grow out. And right now it's driving me insane because I'm not used to it being this long. It hasn't been this long in numerous years. So at this point, like I'm putting it up in ponytails and I'm like, I don't like this. This is awful. And Mr. Coffee's just like, I like it long. I don't care. I don't like this. So I need to find a hair salon, a good hair salon around here. There used to be one in town, but just as quick as they opened, they shut down. And I was like, I don't know what y'all was doing, but good God. All right, so we're going to, I need to label these as I go, because if I don't, I'll mess them up. 
And I have stolen Maggie's safety scissors. Oh, yeah. So those wondering. Maggie's off punishment. Uh, she finally got her toys back. Because I know somebody asked me in, a, a, I think, last week's whipping chat, you know, what happened to her toys. Maggie was put on punishment for writing all over her toys. So she was actually on punishment for two weeks. And she finally got off punishment. The sad part was she doesn't. She didn't even want to be off punishment. She was like, I was like, you ready to get your toys back? No, thank you. What? Maggie liked having her room clean. She just doesn't want to clean it. And if cleaning it, if keeping it clean mean not having toys, she was cool with it. Y'all, what's wrong with her? Like, but the moment that closet opened, she was like a little kid on Christmas. She's like, I forgot I had these toys. And I was like, okay. So she, she was so super excited this weekend that she got her toys back. And of course, her room, even right now, is a disaster zone. And I'm like, great. Now I got to fuss at her when she comes home to clean up her room. Anyways. But by the time Mr. Coffee finished putting on the same three pairs of boots and taking them off and then putting them back on again, um, he didn't even buy the boots. Like, he bought a different pair of boots. So, where he did, he did buy boots. It just wasn't the three that he kept trying on and taking off because... They have to be, you know, they have to be waterproof and they have to have a composite toe because steel toe freezes in the winter time. And he has all these like specifications that they have to be. And by this time it's like getting late and I'm like, we're not going to have time to cook dinner, hon. Like we had planned on making uh, the loose Salisbury steak for dinner and I couldn't make it because we had got home too late. So I was like, we're going to have to figure out something for dinner. And Orion was like, ooh, mommy, can we have Arby's? You guys. In the comment section, what is your favorite restaurant? Your favorite fast food restaurant? I love me some Arby's. Arby's has to be my hands down, absolute favorite. Eat it all day. Love pot roast. Love roast beef. Love anything. Oh my God. Beef related. Just, oh God, I love the beef and cheddar. Add bacon with the freaking curly fries. I love me curly fries. Like, I remember one year, uh, my in-laws asked me what to get me for Christmas. And I was like, you can get me an Arby's gift card for real. Because uh, I would love you forever if I was able to just go to Arby's with my little gift card. Hey, look, I got about $400 on this gift card. Uh, let me go ahead and get all the beef and cheddars. Like, I love Arby's. And uh, so, Mr. Coffee's like, ooh, I can go for Arby's. We haven't had Arby's in a while. And I was like, sweet. So, we went over to Arby's. But, of course, there's always one. In my house, it's hard to do anything, especially cook, because there's always one person that doesn't like what you're making. Either Mr. Coffee doesn't like it, and the kids both do, or Mr. Coffee likes it, and one of the kids does like it, but then the other kid doesn't like it. Or both the kids don't like it, and Mr. Coffee loves it. Either way, it makes it incredibly difficult to make food in the house, because... They, they, they will nitpick it to death. Oh, I don't like this. Like yesterday I made cabbage and sausage, but we lied and told Maggie that the sausage was hot dogs because though she won't eat meat, she will eat a hot, she will, she will tear up a hot dog. Okay. So we told her that the sausage and the cabbage and sausage was a hot dog. And we found Dave, famous Dave's, uh, cornbread mix that you can make at home. So we had that with the cabbage and sausage. She ate a good portion of that before she was like, I don't like the salad in this. She thinks the the cabbage is uh lettuce. And she she's like, I don't like the I don't like the salad in this. I'm like, this is not salad. I keep trying to tell her it's not salad, but she she insists that it's salad. So I'm like, who am I to ruin your hopes and dreams? So she uh Sorry, I started concentrating real hard just now and lost my train of thought. But so we go to Arby's and like I said, there's always that one person. We pull up and Orion's like, I would like a beef and cheddar. Now, that's probably the first time Orion's gotten a big boy meal at the restaurant. So I'm just sitting there like, are you sure you're able to handle all this? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we really want this. This is what I want. And I was like, all right, fine. So we order him a beef and cheddar classic you know, curly fries, we get home. Yeah, he, he ate two bites of it and he was full. He was just, he was done. Like he was falling asleep. He was so done. I was like, mm-hmm. Anyways, so we're all ordering and Maggie goes, I don't want Arby's. I don't like Arby's. Of course you don't. Of course you don't, honey. Why would you? Because everybody else loves it. Ah, what would you like, Maggie? And she's like, 
I would like chicken nuggets and french fries. Yo, I fought for months because Maggie would not eat chicken nuggets and french fries from McDonald's. She would always make us get pancakes because she refused to eat chicken nuggets. Now she's eating the chicken nuggets, but that's the only thing she wants to eat. Like every time you ask her what she wants to eat, it's always chicken nuggets and french fries. I bought chicken fingers from Schwann's. She didn't want chicken fingers. She won't eat them because they're shaped like a finger. And you don't eat people. That's called cannibalism. The fact that she knows what cannibalism is scares me, one. Um, and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, luckily McDonald's was on our way out to go home. So I'm sitting there like, okay, cool. We'll just, you know, run by McDonald's quick. The problem is, there's always a huge line at McDonald's. Like, no matter what time of day you go, you guys, there's always, like, seven cars deep at McDonald's. And every time I go there, I can immediately hear them saying that the ice cream machine is down. And, of course, it's March, so the Shamrock Shake is back, so everybody has to go run and get their Shamrock Shake. I am not a... Are you a fan of the Shamrock Shake? Write that down in the comment section. I have never tried one. But I also think that... I, I know I don't like mint... So I'm going to guess that I'm probably not going to like a minty milkshake, which I think is what somebody told me what it tastes like. And I was like, that sounds awful. So, yeah, no, I'm not a shamrock shake person. Um, I'm an Oreo. Uh, I'm an Oreo milkshake or Oreo. What, they, what do they call it? Uh, I'm going to say fribble, but that's friendlies. Um, whatever the Oreo thing is that they have at McDonald's. Uh, it's like ice, it's like a thick ice cream with the Oreo chunks in it. I like that. I don't like I don't like mint, so I, I don't go all gaga for the the shake that they have. But I knew it was going to be busy because I knew the shake was back. Between that and the McRib, people go it, like they lose their minds. Never tried the McRib either. Anyways, so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna go over to McDonald's. But first, we're gonna get everybody else food here. Y'all, we were in the parking lot. And I think this is cruel and unusual. We go to pull up to the window. And in one, I hate it when you get a drink from a, a restaurant and their machine is out. But how would they know? Because it's not like they sit there drinking soda all day. And you get the drink and you drive off and then you realize the drink doesn't taste right because their, their syrup and the machine was, was, was empty and they didn't realize it. Y'all, I was so mad. I wanted a Dr. Pepper so bad. Luckily, McDonald's has Dr. Pepper. So I was able to get a Dr. Pepper from McDonald's. But we go over to McDonald's. We get Maggie stuff. I get a Dr. Pepper for myself. We come home. Mr. Coffee runs the dogs out quick because they missed their 4 o'clock walk. And it was at this time, it was like 6. So he runs the dogs out quick. And he's like, I got to wear the boots in. So I'm going to wear the boots over to the dog park. Now, the dog park, it's not horribly bad because it looks like somebody was trying to go out there and clean up. But there are a lot of people around here that feel that they don't have to clean up after their pets and just let their pets go to the bathroom and not clean up. To me, that's irresponsible. Like, if you have a pet and you take him to, like, a dog park or something and you don't clean up, that's the worst type of person to me. I can't. I can't with people like that. If you take them to, like, an open field or something and let them poop, that's one thing. But if you take them somewhere where you're supposed to clean up and you can't just because you you feel like you, don't, you shouldn't have to, yeah, no, I, I can't with that. Anyways, so I was like, you really want to wear your new boots at the dog park? Like, that's the first place you want to go with your new boots. And he's like, well, I got to break them in to make sure they, they fit good because if not, I can return them. So you're going to walk around the disgusting dog park in your new boots. I'm like, you know what? They're your boots. I don't give a crap. Go. So he went and did that. I sat down with the kids and had dinner. And then uh, Maggie found out that Frozen 2 was on Disney+. Plus. This was the end of it for me, okay? Every Saturday night, we've been trying to sit down with the kids and watch a movie. Um, because usually, we just kind of do our own thing on Saturdays. But we're trying to do more family-oriented things. Uh, a lot of times, we'll do stuff, you know, at, in the daytime, and then at night, we just kind of do our own things. But that was proving to be a chore for Maggie, because for some reason, Maggie has lost all ability to entertain herself. And she needs you to be constantly entertaining her at all times, or she will just lose her ever-loving mind. So we've been trying to like watch movies with them before they go to bed. Y'all, why did we, we watched Frozen 2. It was really good. I got the DVD for Maggie. 
That way too, when she's in her room, if she wants to watch it when she's going to sleep or something, she has her DVD player is built into her TV. And she always forgets, thank God, because Lord knows what she would have stuck in there by now if she would have found out that it has the DVD player in it. Um, but I bought the DVD for it. The movie's on Disney+. Plus. She has had me watch this movie probably a total of four times. And I'm sitting there and I'm starting to learn the songs, you guys. So, like... Someone please send help. Please? Why? Why? I will admit, I do like the second one more than I like the first one. <coughs> but do I have to watch that entire thing freaking four times? Cheers. Throat getting a little scratchy. So we watched that about four times. And I was like, yeah, I've had enough of this. Um, and then we decided to play Uno. Now, usually I don't miss a live from Jeremy. So I turned Jeremy's live on and I was kind of just listening while we were playing Uno. And Maggie was like, well, mommy, I can't hear you over, over, over Jeremy. So she came over and she's like, can we just turn it off? And I was like, okay, fine. I will turn it off. I'll, you know, let him know later that. I popped in. I just didn't get a chance to say hi or anything. I got to watch, I think, like the first 45 minutes or an hour of him before I had the, before she asked me to switch it off because she couldn't hear. Um, So we, we were playing cards. We stayed up pretty late with the kids that night playing and watching movies and just having a good, wholesome family time. And it, it was nice to be able to spend that time with the kids. Um, what was also nice is I finished my canvas and me and Mr. Coffee sat here talking and we were talking about, you know, because the question I get asked, I've been getting asked a lot from people is what are my plans for my channel? Like, where do I plan on going from here? Because I feel stagnant in my channel. And so like Mr. Coffee and I were sitting talking about the channel and he's like, you know, what are you going to do next? What are your plans for the future for your channel? I'm like, I don't know. I just played each day by ear. I'm like, he's like, well, are you going to start doing drawing on your channel? You can't keep it a secret forever. And I'm like, well, it's not like it's a secret. Uh-oh, just push the entire canvas. I'm like, it's not like it's a secret, but I just haven't done it on the channel because I, I'm still learning. I don't want to start doing it on the channel and I'm still learning. I might do like a mindful Monday with it because y'all are well past due for a mindful Monday. I'm like, I might do a mindful Monday with it, but I, I don't feel comfortable enough like, I did a, a draw with me, with the Patreons, and I don't feel comfortable enough to talk and do it. So I would have to do a voiceover, which is not a problem, except for, you know, that's just extra work I would have to do. So for right now, I'm like, I'm not looking to be doing any particular type of, you know, draw with me or, you know, showing anything. Like, I might do one for... Uh, Art and Fly sent me out their skin tone markers. I might do an illustration for that just so I'm coloring my own work. But other than that, like, I don't really, I don't really see me, like, doing it on the channel. Like, uh, not right now. Now, further into the future, yes, possibly. But for right now, you know, I'm, I'm cool with diamond painting and adult coloring which I haven't even really been doing a whole lot of adult coloring on the channel anymore. Um, it wasn't getting a whole lot of views. Like, I know some people did like the adult coloring, but a lot of people didn't. So, like, there's not a huge, massive following for adult coloring. I still enjoy doing it whenever I'm not diamond painting or if I need a break from diamond painting. But there's not really a huge following for adult coloring. So I'm just like, you know, I'll do it here and there, but it's not going to be like a major thing on the channel. And he's like, well, you got to figure out some kind of direction for your channel because at this point you said yourself, you know, you got to figure out something. And I'm like, I will eventually. So eventually, like, I'll get my life together and figure out, like, exactly how I want things to go on the channel and what direction I'm looking for them to go into. And why is this thing, like, moving all over the place in this pen? So, yeah, so it, it's always nice when me and Mr. Coffee can sit down and have a real adult conversation and we were actually talking about this Saturday and Sunday. 
because he was saying about, you know, well, you should be very proud of yourself because you're doing things that I can't do. And I will find a reference picture because I was having problems drawing hair. I was getting super frustrated and I messaged like Hannah Lynn and I was like, you know, hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if, you know, you could give me some pointers on drawing hair. And of course, most artists will tell you, practice. And she's like, oh yeah, find some reference photos. She's like, that's how I learned. She's like, I'm self-taught. So like, you know, you just, I found reference photos and would just continuously practice. And I was like, sold, okay. So I can, I can do a ponytail in my drawings, but that's probably about as far as that's going. Like, I'm still learning all the other aspects and I don't feel comfortable enough to talk. I, mean, I wanna get to the point where I'm comfortable enough to talk and do it on the channel before I start like bringing it onto the channel. Cause obviously you don't wanna come here and hear a bunch of dead silence. So at some point you guys will see the, the drawing. Cause I know a lot of people have been interested to see it. Uh, at some point I'll feel comfortable enough to draw it. But for right now, it's just, it's not that I'm keeping it a secret. It's just, I'm holding that back for whenever I get a little bit better. And I've been, I've been doing really good with my drawing. Like I'm shocked. And Mr. Mr. Coffee last night bought me a little mannequin guy. And I'm like, what's a little mannequin guy? And he shows me it's like a little wooden figure that you can pose so that you can use it as a reference whenever you're drawing. And I'm like, oh, well, he's cute. I'm like, I have a bad feeling that I'm going to get this. And Maggie's going to think it's one of her babies and just take it away and steal it. Because it's, it's really, really cute. Okay, so glad I paused the camera. I literally sneezed with my tray in my hand and blew drills everywhere. Oh, the life I live. Um, so yeah, so t this weekend was pretty eventful. Uh, I was doing laundry on Sunday. Every Sunday I do laundry. I only do laundry once a week in my house with the four people. We have enough clothes that we can do once a week. And that's all mama does. That's all you get. If you dirty up something throughout the week, it stays until the weekend unless it's something really bad. So, or Mr. Coffee every once in a while, if he has like a really bad day at work. He, like, Friday, Friday, he worked a 24-hour shift, and so his clothes were just covered in mud and grossness. So I was like, yeah, we're going to just wash those now. So we wash that, but usually I only do laundry once a week. I don't I don't know how people can do it every day. I can't. I'm not built like that. I'm, I'm no, I can't. I had a friend that literally would do loads and pull in loads upon loads of laundry every freaking day. And I'm like, no, that is not the life for me. That's not gangsta, no. So I'm sitting there and the kids have decided, I've decided to give the kids chores because I think they're old enough to have chores. Now Maggie, her chore is essentially when I'm doing laundry is to pass it out to whoever it belongs to. Um, except for when I first started doing it, she would like Orion be sit on the couch and she'd have all his folded clothes and then she'd take and put them over his head and dump them on him and he, she'd go, put your clothes away. Okay, so then I had to teach her, no, you don't dump them on the person and tell them to put their clothes away. You you hand them their clothes or you go put it on their bed and say, your clothes are ready. Can you put them away, please? I'm like, that that's what we're doing here. So she's gotten better at not dumping them on him now. So um, I'm sitting there and Orion sees that Maggie's coming to help me do laundry. And I think they're at that age where they're old enough to put their own laundry away. Like, they don't need mommy putting their laundry away. Plus, I just ordered them a bunch of new clothes. I'm so proud of myself. It was like 600 some odd dollars worth of clothes from Old Navy. Because they had a sale going on. And the kids really badly need clothes. They're, Orion's growing like nobody's business. And Maggie, she's growing too. But not she's not growing as fast as Orion is growing. Obviously, because Orion eats food and Maggie eats air particles. It's a whole thing. So, I'm sitting there and... Maggie comes over and she's helping me. And Orion, I have this one gallon tub of tub that I use for my laundry basket. And it has like rope handles. It's a nice big, you know, gigantic laundry basket because it's just me and Mr. Coffee's clothes that go into it. So Orion comes over and, and the kids will sit in the laundry basket. Well, Maggie must have gotten upset that... Orion was sitting in it. I was so busy w doing what I was doing that I didn't notice. And I look over and she has pushed the laundry basket over with him inside of it. And she's rolling him back and forth up and down the hallway. And I'm like, what are you doing? Stop. You're going to hurt him. 
No sooner did I say that, she comes over here by this wall that connects between, it separates the living room from the kitchen. And she whacks his head off of it real good. So he has a pretty good Easter egg on his forehead. And I'm like, dude, we're going to call you Easter Bunny because now you have an Easter egg on your forehead. Don't call me Easter Bunny. He's the Easter Bunny, y'all. I got to get the label for this. Yeah, I should have kitted this up yesterday, but yesterday was my day off of diamond painting, and I just drew all day yesterday. It was so nice. It was so nice to get the break, especially after you complete a painting. And it shouldn't have even taken me that long. I was, I'm embarrassed that it took me that long to complete that painting, but, you know, life happens. That's a thing. So, yeah, so I drew all day yesterday when I wasn't, like, lifing. And it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. I really liked it. Um... So now I'm kidding up as I go, which I have no problem. It's only 16 colors anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal or anything. Plus, from the looks of it, I'll probably spend the entire time on just these three colors because I've noticed I missed the other two colors, and I'm pretty sure I'll probably miss some of that one too. So for those folks that are working on the tiger with me, this confetti is real. Like, there's so much confetti. Oh my god, there's so much confetti. So yeah, so... We then had the nurse Orion's head, obviously. Uh, he's fine. He was a little dizzy at first. And I was like, uh, I would assume so. Maggie's just sitting there. She goes, did I break him? And I'm like, no, you didn't break him. She goes, well, that's good. That that That's good. Are you okay, Orion? And then she's doing the, like, follow my finger thing. And then she pokes him in the eye. And I'm like, that is not how you do an exam and make sure somebody's okay. And she's like, well, he didn't see it coming, Mommy. So we might need to get his eyes checked again. And I'm like, well, first, you know, we, we all need our eyes checked. And she goes, yeah, mama, because you're blind. I'm like, you're blind too? You wear glasses? She goes, yeah, but mine's are cuter than yours. Yo, again, someone, get Maggie, get her. Good God. And of course, Mr. Coffee just sitting over here in his own little world while I'm going mentally insane, trying to get clothes put away and stuff for the weekend. Get ready. And actually, I found out that the kids actually will have a spring break this year. Last year, they had... Two day, the day, they had a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a Monday off for school for spring break. This year, they actually get an entire freaking week. I am so excited, you guys. I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do because Mr. Coffee will still have to work, but I'm going to find something for me and these kids to do to get them out of the house, even if it is just take them to the playgrounds around here. I got to do something to get them out of the house. Like, they're driving me insane in here. This is my happy spot, and they're making it a little less happy being grumpy buttholes all day because of he's looking at me she's talking to me she's humming a song and i don't like it you guys you guys you remember when you were little and you would play that game with your brother if i'm not touching you you can't tell mommy if i'm not touching you you can't tell mommy my kids have somehow learned this game and i hear maggie saying this in orion's room and he's like leave me alone maggie get out go away and she's like if I'm not talking to you, you can't tell mommy. And I go walk over just because I was going to scare her to get her to stop. So I like tiptoe over. And she's staring at the wall going, if I'm not looking at you, you can't tell mommy. If I'm not looking at you, you can't tell mommy. And I'm like, I'm right here. He doesn't have to tell me. I can see you. She goes, no, you can't. I blend in with the wall. And I'm like, but you don't. And I can see you. And she's like, you can't see me, mommy. I'm like John Cena. <sighs> which was funny because Matt, I talked to Minna Saturday night, I think it is. <coughs> and she actually went to go see WWE. Her dad's a huge fan and she's been watching it since, you know, she was a baby. So like, that's right up their alley. And I was just like, oh, well, that's really cool. And she's like, mommy, look, Bobby Lashley. I'm like, oh, snap. You're saying old school names now. Did anybody else watch uh, WWE? It used to be WWF or WCW. Now I think they've com essentially combined them all together. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't watched it in the longest time. I'm not sure why. Probably because I have a Maggie and the last thing I need is for Maggie to learn how to hurt someone because she's going to use her brother as the person she hurts. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not trying to go to the hospital. That's that's one less bill I, I need to have. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. So, there's that. And for right now, 
I'm pretty content with this canvas. It's so nice. It's a lot of confetti though, you guys. Like, it's a lot, a lot of confetti. I'm okay with the confetti though. Confetti is good. That means detail. Confetti equals detail. And it's funny because I was talking to somebody in the group and they were saying they're, they're fearful of squares. And I'm like, don't be fearful of a shape. That's not gangsta. Like, you can't be fearful of shapes. It's just like every other, you know, shape. Especially when it comes to diamond painting. For those people that fear squares, get a small square. Test it out. If you've never tried a square and you just hear all the horror stories from other people, how do you know you won't like it? If you let what other people say, you know, essentially... If you let that control what you do, then you're never going to... When are you going to do something you want to do? So if you're fearful of squares, try a small skit. It won't kill you. And then you can decide for yourself whether you're a square person or not. But you have to complete the kit. You can't just give up the first time you put a drill down crooked. Oh, let me start a new clip. Hi, pups. Uh. So it is the next day. I had to... Well, this is the dog park for those who have never seen the dog park. This is the dog park that I come to every morning to walk the doggies. Um, I had to start my other half of my whipping chat the next day because my voice didn't hold out yesterday after all the other unboxings that I did. So we will get started on part two and not watch Killian poop. Killian. No, you can't jump. It's a cloudy day here in North Dakota. Um, we are going to start part two over again. My voice didn't hold out yesterday, so I have to essentially re-record my video. There's Daisy chasing the truck, somewhat. And then there's Killian. He found this rope that he loves oh so much at the dog park. Killian! But he won't, give, he won't just give it to you. But somebody wanted to see the dog at the dog park playing. You gotta sit. That says I'm gonna play. Who wants to play? Ready? So yeah, so we're going to start part two over again to the whipping chat. But I thought I'd let you guys see the doggies run. He's got the zoomies. Daisy, be nice. So yeah, so this is the dog park. This is where I bring the pups. Sorry if I'm making you sick, but I'm trying to give you a 360 view here. I live over there, but this dog park, as you can see, is a lot nicer than where I live. And the dog park where I live is like half this size. And I have big dogs, and they need to, there's the part where Killian's going to probably try to jump over the fence. Oh no, he did it. Okay, good. So yeah, so we're going to start part two over. I tried to do it yesterday. Literally, my voice was just like, no. Also, I had a lady complain because of my Dreamer Designs unboxing. So let me explain this for you, especially if you're new to my channel, which if you are. Hey, I'm Miss Coffee. Um, that's my dog, Daisy. And that's Killian Jones. Say hi, Killian. But if you try to run up on Killian, he'll run. Killian. So, when I do unboxings on my channel, I show the meat and potatoes of the unboxing. I show the canvas, the drills. Toolkit is usually not something somebody's worried about too much, even if they're new, because usually they have a pen or something that they like to use. So the young lady that was upset about my Dreamer Designs unboxing was upset because I didn't mention the purple ribbon on the canvas. It's an added touch. It was nice enough that I used it as my thumbnail. She added that I didn't show the toolkit because uh, I just tossed it to the side. Actually, if she hadn't skipped through the first part of my unboxing, she would have seen the toolkit because I did show the toolkit. 
The next thing she mentioned was somebody was complaining about the not getting the good tweezers. And apparently these were the good tweezers and I showed them. And I'm like, yeah, they're the good branded tweezers, which is why I showed them when I unboxed the first tool kit. If I have two tool kits, why would I show you both of the same exact tool kit? That's unnecessary. It wastes a lot of time. You guys are here for the meat and potatoes of the tool or the diamond painting, not for me to spend an hour gushing over a ribbon, a foam core, and a tool kit. So that kind of had me all up in my feelings because I'm like trying not to go gangster on people early in the morning because it's like eight in the morning right now, which is why we're still out at the dog park. Isn't that right, Killian? Daisy likes to chase the cars. But it's the reason why I do my unboxings the way I do. I show you the important parts of the diamond painting because you're here for the meat and potatoes. You're here to see the canvas. You're not here for a toolkit. You're not here for a purple ribbon. And honestly, for as much eco-friendliness as Dreamer Designs did, they still have a foam core, which is unnecessary seeing as how they have poured glue. And if you have poor glue canvas, you're less likely to get bubbles and rivers in that canvas because it is poor glue. So the woman's arguments were invalid. And if she had to take in the time and actually watch the full video, seeing as how she claims that she was new and has seen other people complain about not getting the good tweezers. I'm like, yeah, they're talking about the silver tweezers that you'll get in a kit that the moment you touch them, they break. Those are the bad tweezers. The good tweezers are the ones that came in the Dreamer Designs kit. But apparently my unboxing wasn't good enough for her because I didn't gush for an hour over this ribbon, the foam core, and the freaking tool kit. I already showed the tool kit. I said something about the ribbon. I showed the foam core. What was I supposed to do? Lay a nice bed for the, the foam core? I'm so confused. So confused. So if you can't tell, part of this, you know, whipping chat's going to be outside watching the dogs at the dog park. Which, I don't think y'all mind. Daisy! Killian! Hi, Daisy. Daisy Doodle. Daisy Doodle. So, yeah, so... For those folks that are new and don't know how I do my unboxings, I show you the important stuff. Daisy, go get the truck. I show you the important stuff. The drill canvas, the canvas, the drills. Usually nobody cares about the tool kit, which is why I didn't show it as extently as apparently she wanted me to, even though if she hadn't skipped through the video, she would have seen it. So yeah, so if you get butt hurt over something I do on my channel, but you don't have a channel, yeah, I'm going to say something. I'm not like a lot of creators that won't say nothing. I'm going to say something to you, and it's probably going to hurt your feelings. And Miss Coffee always has that one thing. Sorry, not sorry. So, well, let's get the dogs home, and we'll finish up our whipping chat, shall we? Come on, Killian. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, good boy. All right, say bye to the peoples. Killian. Yeah, they're ready to go now. Say bye bye. All right, guys, we're back. So, this is obviously the next day. Uh, my voice didn't hold out very well yesterday, so when I was trying to record, I sounded like a prepubescent boy going through the change. And I was like, yeah, we should probably try to re record that tomorrow. So, here we are. Um,. I was sitting there last night and I hurt myself and Mr. Coffee just kind of laughed at me. He's just like, only you could do this. Now, now, one, it's not only I could do this, but I got stabbed yesterday. Essentially, I stabbed myself. So I can't even really say I got stabbed. I stabbed myself by accident. Let me explain. So I'm sitting in the kitchen. I had just made dinner. I was getting ready to taste dinner because I was hungry and I wanted to taste it for the fifth time to make sure that the other four times weren't a joke. So I tasted it again. And as I go to taste it, Maggie screams. I'm not sure why she's screaming. She's playing with Orion. She screams and I'm like, okay, what the hell's going on? And then she's like, like she lets out like this blood curling scream and I didn't know why. 
And all I knew was it scared the crap out of me because I wasn't ex like I was in the kitchen and they were playing nicely. Like one minute they're giggling, the next minute she like screams. When she screamed, I threw the fork up that I had. Like I flinched and threw the fork. Well, I threw it up in the air, and when I went to go catch it, I went to go like I don't know how to explain it. I went to like like I was trying to give the fork a hug mid air. And the prongs of the fork were pointed towards my chest. And when I went to go give it a hug, I stabbed myself in the chest, right in the titty meat. Have you ever been stabbed in the titty meat? If you don't know what the titty meat is, it is the meatiest part of your boob, okay? If you're a guy, that's your peck. That's okay for you because you're a guy. But for a woman to be stabbed in a titty meat, it is painful, okay? Um. So Mr. Coffee walks in shortly after... I literally, like, it stabbed me to the point where it was sticking out of my, my boob, and I I had to pull it out, and Mr. Coffee comes in, and he sees me pull the fork out, and he goes, what in the holy hand just happened here? I was like, I just got stabbed in the titty meat. And he just looks at me, and he's like, only, only you could be stabbed in the titty meat. What are you doing while I'm gone? I'm like, dude, look, your daughter screamed. I, at this point, I was so, like, concerned about the fact that I stabbed myself. I didn't even worry to go check on Maggie, who was just screaming because Orion farted in her face. To which I didn't have to tell him to stop, because you don't fart in people's face. One, because that's rude. And two, you're going to get that girl pink eye. And Maggie's like, I can't get pink eye from him farting in my face, mama. I'm like, yes, you can. He, she's like, no, I can't. She goes, you get pink eye from touching your butt and then touching your eye, mom. Our old neighbors taught the kids that if you don't want to get pink eye, don't touch your butt and touch your eye. So now every time I mention the word pink eye, Maggie lets me know that you don't get pink eye from just farting around people. You got to touch your butt and touch your eye. The life lessons my old neighbor taught my children are ridiculous. But it's true, though. It's true. So I was like, okay, well, stop farting in your sister's face. Well, she was sitting on my head and farted. This, these are the things that my children do when they are supposed to be playing nicely together. They were playing Minecraft. I'm not sure how we got to this point. Like, how, how do kids go to the extreme? One minute they're playing nicely, the next minute they're playing, let's see who can fart on who the, the worst. Like, I don't understand small, tiny humans. And then yesterday, we sat here again for the fifth time and watched Frozen 2 because Maggie just can't let us be great. I'm sitting here and I'm like, ooh, look, I actually have videos to watch on YouTube. Maggie's like, not today. We're watching Frozen 2. So we get to watch Frozen 2 before dinner. Stop it in the middle. Rewind it because daddy didn't see it when he got home. So then rewatch it while we had dinner. And then she tells me today that when she gets home, she would like to watch it again. Why? I, I know repetition is great for children because it helps them learn. But Maggie is starting to think that she's some kind of ice princess. And I'm like, you might be cold-blooded, but you ain't no ice princess, sweetie. You're just a regular princess. She's like, well, if I can be anything I want to be, I want to be an ice princess. Okay, okay, fine. That means you got to stay in the freezer or something. She's like, no, nah, it's too cold in there. I was like, oh, okay. Anyways. So we got to watch Frozen 2. Anybody else living the life of watching Frozen 2 over and over again? It doesn't help that YouTube has it for rent or you can buy it on YouTube. Disney Plus already has it. She has the DVD because we get we got her the DVD when it came out. And so no matter what device she is on, she can watch Frozen 2. And I'm like, I should have just waited to buy her the DVD because you know they're going to come out with the box set. Like, you know there's going to be a Frozen 1 and 2 box set coming out like next week. This is how they do things. This is how they rope us parents into buying things. They'll release the second one and then wait a week after everybody's already purchased it and go, or get the deluxe edition with one and two. And I'm like, you know what? I even was like, I'm going to wait to buy it. But then Mr. Coffee was like, why wait? She already has the first one. Let's just buy her the second one. Fine. Whatever. Okay. But it's been really nice here. Uh, the weather hasn't been too disrespectful. It was a little weird yesterday because like, it was raining, but it wasn't rain. It was snow. But then as soon as it touched anything, it would, it would turn to water. Um, I got belted in the eye sockets. Uh, 
most of yesterday when I went to go walk the dogs, even the dogs were kind of like, yeah, no, we don't want to be out here. And then I had an accident with Killian yesterday, and he's he's not he's not my biggest fan right now. And I feel really bad, but it wasn't my fault. Let me explain. So we're sitting at the dog park, and the dogs are running around. Again, it's raining slash snowing, and I'm sitting there minding my own business, and the dogs are running around playing like they normally do. All right, cool. Get your runs in. Get all super tired so I can take you home and you'll fall asleep and sleep until, you know, whenever. So I'm sitting here minding my own dang business. I'm walking through the dog park, which I usually try to walk through with them so that if they go to the bathroom, I can clean it up quick. That and I can find it because Lord knows it plays peekaboo with you whenever you're at the dog park. The, the dog park's a pretty decent size, as you saw from the previous clip. So I'm sitting there and the dogs are running around me in a circle well, right as Killian goes to turn around, like he's spinning around me for like the fourth time, he goes to spin around me and catches my kneecap. But he catches it to the point where he doesn't catch the back of it, he catches the front of it. And then Daisy catches the back of it, trying to run around me, trying to get a hold of Killian. So I go to fall backwards, and because Killian was running in front of me, I went to go lift my foot up because when you fall, obviously when something hits the back of your leg and you go to fall, that one leg always kicks up. Well, when my leg kicked up, I accidentally kicked the dog. I felt so bad. Not just because I kicked him. Because I kicked him in the ding-dong, y'all. I kicked my poor dog in the ding-dong. And the sad part is, if that's not sad enough, I kicked him in the ding-dong and it was like he was human for about 30 seconds. He literally stopped running, sat down, put his hands where his ding-dong was, and then just fell over. And I felt awful. It was funny to watch, but I felt awful. And I was like, oh my God, Killian. And he did like the sad thing where like, you know, he's, he's going to milk this for all it's worth because how dare you kick him in the ding-dong. He uh, was like moping around the dog park for the last five minutes. And I was like, you ready to go home, bud? And then he has to he has to act like he's an abused child, and he's like, every time you go to touch him, he puts his head down a little bit. I'm like, Killian, I'm sorry. You guys were running around me, and you got my leg. I'm so. But he doesn't understand that. He just sees that. Why did mommy just kick me in the ding dong? Oh, what makes this really bad is that it was a steel toe shoe. Because I wear steel toe boots whenever I go out to the dog park. I'm not sure why, um, but I, I had the steel toe boots on, and that's how I kicked him. Luckily, I didn't kick him hard. I just kicked him enough that he, he whined for like, I don't know, two minutes. And then like, he got up finally off the ground and then went, he, he didn't go play where after that, he just kind of like limped around for a little bit and then laid by the gate. Like he was ready to go. I felt so bad, but I didn't mean to. And I apologize. He got a super big ham bone yesterday for that. So I felt bad. Cheers. You got to stay hydrated folks. Even though coffee is known to dehydrate. But we ain't going to talk about that. We don't need that negativity in our lives. So yeah, so the weather has been trying to get nicer. I think spring is finally coming. The kids have spring break coming up here in about two weeks. Or in a week. After next week, they have spring break for a week. So I am going to try to, of course, pre-record my videos for that week. So that I'm not... Minus my whip and chat. Because I can't really pre-record that. Uh, it, yeah, no. You might just get a shorter whip and chat that week because trying to keep the kids wrangled. And I do want to take them to the, like, if it's nice enough, we're going to go walking into the park and stuff. Orion needs to get out. He's looking a little pale. And I say this because we were sitting down the other night and Maggie looks at me and she looks at herself and she looks at Orion and she looks at me and she goes, Mommy, why are you the darkest person in our house? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, your skin's darker than everybody else's. I'm like, that's because mommy's black, baby. She goes, well, I'm black. I'm like, yes, you're you're black like mommy. You're 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 mixed though. And she's like, so like like a chocolate milkshake. I'm like, like a chocolate milkshake. There you go, boom. Now I've had this talk with my kids numerous times, obviously because they're mixed and they're gonna notice that they're a different color than all the rest of their friends. So like, yeah. 
So we've had this talk about the whole, you know, you're mixed, you're black and white, blah, blah, blah. Well, then Orion, or Maggie looks at Orion, looks at Mr. Coffee, looks at me, looks at herself, and then goes, Mommy, why are we all different colors? And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, Daddy's brown. I'm like, Daddy's dirty. Daddy had just gotten home from work. <laughs> Daddy said he wasn't getting a shower until after dinner because he was hungry. So Daddy looked brown. I'm like, Daddy will turn white again when he goes and gets in the shower. And she goes, well, does that mean Orion will turn brown again when he gets in the shower? I'm like, no, Orion is, is pale. He's like, I'm not pale. I'm like, Orion, you're whiter than your dad. And that's saying a lot, especially since Mr. Coffee, when he's in the house, he's on the couch. He's not like Mr. Coffee is not an outdoorsy type person. He's a gamer type person. Gamers don't leave the house. They're like vampires. When they do leave the house, they're hissing. Like, I'm like, look. We're all in this together, folks, okay? I'm black, daddy's white, you're a mixture of mommy and daddy. And she goes, well, I had somebody at school ask me if I was, a, what'd she say, Puerto Rican? I was like, what's Puerto Rican? And she goes, I don't know. They say I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, okay. Um, You mean Puerto Rico? And she goes, no, they said Puerto Rico. I'm like, what's Puerto Rico? She's like, I don't know, mommy. She goes, but I don't speak Spanish. I guess they got a new student in her class who's Puerto Rican. And the little girl asked Maggie if she was also Puerto Rican because Maggie has that olive brown skin. And I was like, honey, all you do is tell her, no, you're not Puerto Rican. And it's Puerto Rican, not Puerto Rican. I was like, you just tell her that you're, you're, you know, you just have darker skin because your mommy's black. And she goes, well, mommy, that's rude to call yourself black. And I'm like, why is that rude? And she's like, well, because why is everybody else different? She's like, what? how did she She said, why is everybody else white and tan and then you got to be black? She's like, if you were black, we wouldn't be able to see you, mommy. Okay, Maggie, let them know that mommy's a darker brown. Like, trying to have your child explain something to their friends it's hard enough, let alone to the point where they're going to understand, especially since she tells me the little girl's Puerto Rican. And I'm like, if she's Puerto Rican, honey, then then you just tell her you're black and white and that you don't speak Spanish. Because I guess the little girl spent most of the day yesterday trying to speak to her in Spanish. And Maggie had no clue what the poor little girl was saying. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you about that. Like, that's, mm, I don't, just tell her that you're not Puerto Rican, babe. Tell her you don't speak Spanish. No hablo in inglés. And she goes, and Ryan looks at me, he goes, Mom, you know Spanish? I'm like, un puqueto. Uh, I was trying to say a little, but I can't remember the, the word for little. So I was like, un puqueto. Which is, I'm pretty sure is probably wrong. Um, but Orion has this obsession right now where he wants to learn a different language. But he wants to learn, like most people, especially in schools, they have like three major languages that they try to teach kids. Spanish, French, and... Uh, Certain schools would do Latin. Like, what's, what languages do they teach in schools near where you live if you, you know, have children? Um, what is it? Spanish, French, and there's another language. It just slipped my mind. It's, like, on the tip of my tongue. But French and Spanish are the two major ones that they try to teach your kid. But Orion doesn't want to take French or Spanish. Orion wants to speak Russian. And I'm like, is there a particular region why you want to speak Russian? To which Mr. Coffee just walks by as he hears this and goes, he's KGB. And Orion's like, Dad, what's KGB? Now, one thing, one question you never ask Mr. Coffee, what's KGB? Mr. Coffee is obsessed with Russia and all things Russian. Okay, I don't know why. He's been like that since I've met him. He's just He just loves Russia and all things Russian. And his big thing is when he worked at the bar, he worked with a young lady. Her name was Albina. She was from Russia, like straight mother, mother Russia. Like she was straight Russian, okay? 100% Russian. She was a waitress at the bar and she, the lady would teach him how to say different phrases in Russian. To which he then decided to go upon himself when he lived up here by himself. What he did in his spare time was he would take lessons on how to speak Russian. So he can say a few terms and stuff in Russian. And I'm like, yeah, um, I don't know nothing about that. I can speak Spanish 
very, very broken Spanish. Broken, like all your hopes and dreams broken Spanish. And he's just sitting there and he's like, well, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to learn how to speak Russian, dude. And he goes, well, because I guess they are talking about it in class. And his teacher had asked him, you know, if you can learn any language, what language would it be? And Orion said Russian. But he didn't know why he said Russian. He just, for some reason, wanted to learn how to speak Russian. So they went to the library and he rent, he borrowed a book that was about Russia. And Mr. Coffee got all excited when he, when he found it because he was like, oh, that's my boy. Let's learn some Russian. So he would like, he, he's the last, the last maybe night or two, because this was Friday when, when Orion brought home the Russian book. They've been like reading about Russia and Maggie's like, this is boring. Let's watch Frozen 2 again. They've been keeping us on our toes between Frozen 2 and getting all this stuff done. Uh, like I said, we did go look at a couple of houses this past weekend, but nothing that I liked. So we're going to try to go again this weekend. Also, we got our, our tax return, so we're going to put some money into the bank here because, you know, living here for two years and still not having a North Dakota bank account, that's a thing. I should probably get a bank account. I'm not good at adulting. Also, I'm getting my hair cut on Thursday. So like, because I don't, I don't like it being this long. It's like touching my shoulders and it's freaking me out. I keep thinking because I, I've had short hair for the last 10 years. Okay. And for those wondering, I'm 35. So I've had short hair since I got married 10 years ago. And now when it gets long, now when it gets long, I freak out a little bit because, like, stupid little things will scare me about it. Like, I'm sitting here the other day. I let it out of the ponytail. Well, a strand of it or something was tickling my neck. And, of course, you immediately, well, at least I do, immediately when I feel something tickling my neck, I immediately think it's a bug, like a fly or something. And I'm like, no, don't get me. So, like, it's tickling my neck. And in my sleep, I'm ch I choked myself with it. Like, I went to go roll over, and a little piece of it was, like, stuck to my neck and I went to go turn my head or something and it like choked me my hair is trying to kill me so I'm like no it's time for it to get cut so I'm getting a cut again but I'm not gonna do the side mohawk thing again like I, I like the side mohawk thing I just have to figure out what kind of I want to kind of like a pixie cut but I have a big head so I don't want to get anything that's going to make the head look bigger I want something that's going to make my head look smaller so I have to go look around for that but I also have to take the dogs to the groomers and I go to call the groomers yesterday to set up their appointment because the lady was like, can you come at two o'clock? And I'm like, hell no. I'm trying to get this done while the kids are in school. Like Thursday, because I, I tried to make the appointment for yesterday morning, but they didn't get back to me until half an hour after I was supposed to have been there for the appointment because they have you, at, they, they ask you what time you would like whenever you set the appointment up online. They ask you what time you like, and then they're supposed to call and confirm or see if you want to change the time. Well, they did, except for they called me at 9.30. I wanted the appointment for 9 o'clock. And then the lady is like, well, we don't have anything until, uh, we don't have anything until, uh, 2 o'clock. And I was like, that's a little late because what ended up happening is I'll take the dogs there at 2 o'clock and then have to go pick them back up at 3 o'clock, which is when I have to pick the kids up from school. So I was like, you know, I, plus they're, for the extensive amount of, washing and de-shedding that they're going to go through with these dogs um yeah i they're going to need more time so i was like do you have anything for the morning so essentially on thursday i'm going to drop the dogs off to get groomed and then i'm going to go to the hairdresser and get a haircut which i love going to the hairdresser because i never tell mr coffee i'm going and when he comes home i'll either have longer hair or shorter hair and he's just like wow you have on pants like <laughs> Like, that that's the way this works in my household. But I haven't told him I'm getting my hair cut yet. He likes the long hair. He hasn't seen it in a while. He has seen me with long hair before, but it gets super thick. And after, so it's thick. It's dummy thick. And it gets too hot and hard to manage because, like, it looks like a giant... It looks like the giant afro from uh, Ludacris' stand-up video. So I try to keep it short. And manageable because if not it's unruly good god 
I always hate getting my hair cut, though, because that means I have to, one, put on pants. Mm. And two, trying to find a haircut that I'm going to like. I don't usually get my hair colored too much. Like, usually I'll dye it black or like an auburn brown or something or whatever. But I don't like going to the hair salon too often, especially around here. It took me 30 minutes to find someone around here that can cut ethnic hair. And I'm just like, this should not be a thing. For as I, as diverse as this, this part of town is, you would think there would be more hairdressers for that do ethnic hair. Nope. Nope. You got to search around for them. And a lot of people around here aren't qualified to do it. And if they're not qualified to do it, then you sure ain't touching my head. Because uh, no, I learned that lesson the hard way when I lived in Pennsylvania. I let this lady cut my hair and she ended up cutting a big chunk out of the center of my hair. So like my hair was so uneven for so long and it took forever. Of course, why is it when you get a bad haircut, it takes forever for it to grow back? Like I remember when I was little, my sister shaved off her bangs. She didn't want bangs. She shaved. She took my dad's hair clippers and shaved them off. Those bangs didn't grow back for almost a year. I was like, good God. Like, we called her Bald Eagle for, like, the longest time. It was hilarious. But it, it just one of those things where, like, why does it take so long for a bad haircut to grow back? Like, for your hair to grow back from a bad haircut, but it takes, like, a week for when you get that haircut you really like. It takes, like, a week for your hair to grow back, and then you can never get that same haircut ever again because that one was just perfect. I'm not I'm not a big person on long hair. Not personally for myself. Like I like seeing long hair on other people. And if I have braids, I don't mind it, but no one around here does braids. So like I have to like I'm going to have to travel out of out of count like the the out of Williston to get my hair braided cuz I really really want my hair braided. The problem is there's just not enough time because with Mr. Coffee's work schedule and everything. Unless I leave out of town by myself, um, yeah, I know how to get to Montana, if nothing else. Like, I know that if I take a wrong turn trying to get to the post office, I'll end up in Montana. So maybe they'll have a hairdresser somewhere close to where I was at last time when I went to Montana. Let's see. So I think this lion is going to work up, or this tiger is going to work up pretty, uh, quickly. Did I get all the seeds? I think I, nope, I see one already. Sometimes you got to trick your your canvas into thinking you're putting the drills away. And then it'll reveal that you missed like a whole patch of a symbol. I think I got all the C's now. So yeah. So I think that's it for me, folks. I think I'm going to cut it off there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, because that clip at the dog park was probably a good seven, eight minutes long. Uh, I don't want to make it too extremely long and I don't want to lose my voice again. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Put that down in the comment section below. If you made it this far into uh, the video, write down in the comment section. Let's see. Write down in the com. Write write unicorn farts and rainbows down in the comment section. If you made it this far into the video, have everybody wondering why they're everybody saying unicorn farts and rainbows. So, all right, guys, but that's it for me today. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, uh, uh, it's random. With that said, folks, I'm now going to have to bid you adieu, but not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.